Here we have the uh, EXI 250. I uh, started building it now. Uh, so far just the servos and the motor are in. Easy thing to do for the first steps. Uh, I haven't centered them or anything so there's no control uh, control arms on them. But uh, I use the Tower Pro, uh, I think they're 9 gram servos because uh, they fit in there just perfectly. The E-Flight servos I had are a little bit skinnier and these ones really fit in there real perfectly snug so I went ahead and used these. I was having trouble finding what screws to use here and I kind of got a mixture of screws but I got it held in there real nice and strong. There's no instructions that came with this at all. Nothing in paper so you got to kind of do it yourself. Uh, I got the Align 250 3 cell motor in here with the stock, uh, I think it's a 12T pinion that comes with the uh, helicopter. So the motor and servos are in. We just need to put in the uh, battery is going to go here. Uh, gyro is going to go down here. Receiver, I'm not sure, maybe it'll stick right up here. And uh, it's really about it. It's really not that much to it. Going to go back over everything and lock tight all the little screws. But uh, that's the first step I did here, and we'll keep going and show you guys the rest of the build. All right, guys, here we have the uh, EXI 250. It's almost completely built here. Uh, I'm just going to go over it. I actually intended to make this video in multiple parts showing each step of the build, but this build went so quick. I just finished it almost before making another video. So in my last video you saw I put in the servos, Tower Pro 9 gram servos. I used these because they fit perfect in here. They were really snug. They were actually hard to get in, which is good. They were really tight in there, so they got a really good hold. Uh, I used the E-Flight DS75H tail servo. Simply put that on. I went with a Detrum uh, small gyro because it was the only one that would fit down here. So I'm looking for a new, better gyro that's smaller size to put down here to replace this. Because this one, I know it's not that great, but it'll do fine for forward flight and for testing and setting up the pitch curves and throttle curves. So this will be fine for now. Uh, I got the E-Flight 25 amp ESC down in here and the Align 250 motor, which is a 3400 kV motor meant to be run on a 2 or 3 cell. I'll be running it on a 3 cell. And it actually only needs a 15 amp ESC, but I used a 25 just because that's what I had. Um, the cyclic is all set up. Uh, that took a little bit to do. The build of this helicopter really only took about an hour to get to this point. And cyclic all set up and working here. So I put on those ball links. That was pretty simple. Onto each servo arm and put the servo arms in after getting it all set up. So uh, we'll get this helicopter in there soon, let you guys see it fly. Uh, first flights, like I said, will be just kind of fast forward flight with this gyro getting it set up. But I'll get a new gyro in there hopefully within a week and we'll get some uh, 3D flight with this little thing. So there's the EXI 250 and I'll get more videos for you guys soon.